It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Hello nerdlings, I'm Bethany and today I'm going to be talking about NaNoWriMo. National Novel Writing Month is now an institution in writing circles. During November, especially the first few weeks, there's a palpable excitement in the air as thousands, maybe even a million people, get ready to write their 50,000 word novel in an insane 30 days. If you're one of those people right now, congrats and good luck. I did NaNo three years in a row and one each year, ending up with 50,000 words of new fiction. It was a great learning experience and one that I'm not now eager to repeat. It was a great way to break out of my box, to learn that my process wasn't sacred. I had started writing as a tween and so I had a pretty rigid idea of how I worked. So it was great to try out that breakneck pace that NaNo forces. I even feel more confident now of writing to deadline because of it. But my natural process really is more like six months to draft a novel. I think NaNo is great and having a month dedicated to writer positivity and introvert awareness is fantastic even if I'm not taking that challenge myself. Especially the third and last time, I finished NaNo with a sense of deadened exhaustion toward the project, and that's when I realized that it was no longer serving me. But that remembered exhaustion inspired me to create my first open coaching program. In December, I'm going to be debuting a three-week self-care recovery program, including emails and videos designed to help you recoup and re-energize in that order before the holidays. I hope you check it out. It will also be a great way to recover from an intense season at work or a taxing novel revision or pretty much anything that has sapped your creative energy. Again, to those of you who are doing NaNo this month, you are so brave to even think about doing it. And I am so proud of you. Be blessed in your endeavors. Thanks for tuning in to Bethany Unlocked.